eyebrows don't look good, boo boo. <laughs> what is up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm doing something that i'm kind of anxious about doing today i'm going to be doing my 2016 makeup tutorial <laughs> no but for real you guys this is nerve-wracking for me because it was a really rough time i didn't know how to do my makeup my eyebrows were not eyebrows they were bushes that highlighter was highlighting but um we're gonna have fun with this video let's get started these are some pictures that i have in mind for inspo <laughs> this is embarrassing i'm gonna try to make it as similar as possible to these pictures so let's get into this video it is so crazy y'all because i haven't even used one of these little thingy majigs in so long so it took me a second to find this and you guys already know the drill it is Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Time, baby. If you don't know, girl, it was just a time to be living in. I don't even know how to explain. This dip brow is so damn dry, though, y'all. Like, I haven't used this in so long. This is probably, like, the last dip brow I ever used when I was still using it. You know what I mean? But we're gonna try to make it work. I'm gonna try to use the sides because, like, the sides sometimes stay moist. <sighs> this is so scary. So I'm just gonna brush out these brows, and I'm gonna make these babies thick. Okay, they're gonna be popping. Wish me luck, wish me luck. So I got the line going. Ah, <laughs> oh, why is this so scary? These are looking pretty accurate so far. <laughs> Ew. Ew, I'm literally getting heebie jeebie. <laughs> always brush out the front of them because you don't want it to look crazy or anything my eyebrows were really like the main thing of my makeup tutorial so this is like it has to be chef's kiss they were kind of more blocky to be honest i think this is an accurate representation you guys let me know i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eyebrow and i'll be right back i don't know who told me this was a good idea actually no one told me this was a good idea these are the brows you guys the famous insta brows that we all once loved but we hate now my mom used to tell me mama i think like maybe you should thin the eyebrows a little bit and i'd be like mom i know how to do my makeup uh, but girl i wish i would have just listened it's okay though we're gonna make this work this is one part that has not changed in my current makeup routine i still use born this way concealer she is a hit. We do not switch. She's an OG, okay? Let's get it shapop and lopping, okay? Um, the shade match probably has changed. Oh, I think I used a way lighter concealer back then. Yeah, so this is the thing. During this time, I did not know how to blend down my concealer on top of my brows very good. And I did use um, a concealer that was too light. Okay, for the sake of the color, I'm going to use my NYX concealer. But my old self would be using this concealer. And I still use this concealer. Get it shapopping, okay, you guys? <laughs> friend if you guys know you know hope i told her i was recreating my 2016 eyebrows and she said don't ever but literally this shade match is what i would use i'm definitely leaving it harsh i'm not gonna blend it too much because i would not have blended it too much girl that's already blending it enough i swear this is funny this is fun boom baby boom so we got the concealer down i'm gonna go ahead and conceal this eyebrow and we'll move on to the next step we need a moment of silence <gasps> y'all i could literally sit here and cry who hyped me up who who hyped me up y'all are canceled she was not cute these really do look like the brows though <laughs> next we're gonna get into this base this base for the face i didn't really do any moisturizer primer none of that y'all i just got into it i used tart tart was the it girl so if it wasn't Too faced it was tart and if it wasn't that it was nars dude and i had a way brighter eye than this 
I'm gonna use a bright ass concealer too just to make this be more realistic. I would use that much too. So I would only use beauty blenders. I rarely use beauty blenders now. But let's get into this. And I would never let it sit. I didn't know about none of that. That's probably why I used so much. We need some 2016 tunes up in this hoe. It's looking pretty accurate. I would use LA Girl for sure. So we're gonna use her. Get into it. I wouldn't use no primer, no moisturizer, just foundation and vibes. And I would rarely put it on my forehead because I was breaking out. So yeah, this is giving what it would really would it really would give, you know what I mean? So this is the base. <laughs> Back then, I would use Hoola bronzer, but a girl doesn't own Hoola bronzer. I've been thinking about getting it too recently. Damn it, I should have just got it. The closest thing I have to Hoola that I would also use if I didn't have Hoola was this Physicians Formula. This Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula is so good and so buttery and smells good. Oh my god. I don't remember it smelling that good. Holy shiznit. Woo! Sheesh, that smells so good. Oh my god, look how pigmented. We're just going to roll with it. I know I used to use so much on my forehead. I absolutely have an insecurity about my forehead. I know it's so big and fat, but I grew into it. You were given this six head, just roll with it. But back then, I was even more insecure about it. So I was using so much on my forehead. This is... Pretty, pretty accurate, I would believe. So this is the bronzer. I packed it on my forehead like I would have done. I never contoured my nose, so I'm not going to contour my nose. I'm not going to bake too much. I'm just going to bake under my eyes a little bit. I used to use Laura Mercier powder, but I'm just going to go ahead and use my Huda Beauty powder. What would I use? Because I didn't have a powder puff. I think I used the Beauty Blender. I'm going to just tap right in there. <laughs> I thought I was like the shit makeup artist, like girl, what were you doing? So something like that, we're gonna let it sit for 25 minutes, I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna go ahead and dab this in cause that's what I would do with like my foundation beauty blender. So I wouldn't even dust it off, I would just smack it in my face and I would only do under my eyes. It really sucks because I used to have the best highlight palettes, I used to have the Bretman Rock one, then I had the Anastasia one. But I no longer have those. So I'm going to be using the only highlight I have, which is the Charlotte Tilbury one. Now I would just put it on the tip of my nose and under my eyebrows. But before, I would go ham and go all in. But before we get into that, I'm going to go ahead and do blush. Honestly, I think I would use NARS blush, but it wasn't this color. But I wouldn't use that much blush. Like, I barely used any. Tap like this and... Like, that's how much I would use. I use so much more blush now. Literally, that's, like, all the blush I would use. So, I'm not even going to do more. I'm not going to make it to my liking. Now, we're going to go ahead with this highlight and get it show popping. I still did it on my nose. And I made it, like, popping. Sometimes, I would even put setting spray on my highlight or on my brush. <laughs> put it under my eyebrows. I'm going to use my little old trick and put some setting spray on a brush and put my highlight on. Oh yeah, that really does make a difference. Ew. Now for the cheeks. The highlight is highlighting, y'all. Oh no, I think 2016 year old me would be half satisfied. I still need more. Moving on to the next step, I would use like orangey pink tones for my eyeshadow. I don't know what it was, girl. So I'm just gonna take this palette I have. This is the 35i IC Fantasy by Morphe. I'm just gonna go in with this like orangey tone right here and try to give it what it was giving. I'm going to add a little bit of this like pinky tone right here. 
And then I'm going to add a little bit of this like purple tone just to try to get that color that I had before. It was just like one color mauve, like a pinkish purple, like orangey like vibe. I don't know how to describe it. Okay, so I think I'm achieving the vibe. This is definitely the eyeshadow I was giving. I'll put the pick up right here. You see what I'm saying? So in my inspo picks, I really wasn't into falsies that much yet. So I'm going to go ahead and use this Lash Paradise Mascara. And my colossal one had spider lashes. Because I would put on so much mascara. I would do a little bit on my bottom lashes too. So I'll just do that real fast. And then I wouldn't do anything for my lip. I would just put chapstick on. I had no lip combo. And that's the look. She's for sure giving 2016, y'all. If I had my hair in fringe braids right now, you guys let me know how I did. I think I did a pretty good job. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. It was fun. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next weekend. Own a gang or don't bang. Okay. <laughs>